I suppose it doesn't do the skin much good. And if there's a non-smoker around, they're not going to like it anyway. But what you do in your own home, <laughs> get on with it. And if they don't like smoking, they can always say cheerio, can't they? You see, I don't think smoking's as bad as I've said before. I would rather smoke, or if a child was growing up, you know, a teenager, I, if they were going to do anything, I would rather they had a cigarette than drugs. Well, I always feel a non-smoker can get out of the way anyway. I mean, put it this way, my parents smoked. So what did it do to me as a child, for heaven's sake? I'm 90 now. I would never smoke if I was holding a baby or anything like that, you know. But it doesn't affect children. Well, now, for instance, the smoking ban, I think that's disgraceful. I mean, he's telling you what to do. The, the state is just becoming manic about autocracy. If people want to smoke, if they're correct and say that smoking kills you, well, the place, the world is overpopulated anyway. And now, of course, they're grumbling about people being overweight. Well, of course, they're going to be overweight. The number of people I know who've given up smoking are into boxes of chocolates the whole time. If you're not smoking, you mustn't do that. People who give up smoking, as you know, as I've always said, start to eat far more. So they're after the fat people as well. Yeah, it makes me very angry, very angry altogether. I'm against the smoking ban because it's taking free will away from the person. And I think that's disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful.